Hi YouTube, Think Vesting here, and uh, today I'm uh, re-recording the audio uh, for this coin that I unboxed uh, last week, and uh, this is the uh, gold quarter ounce proof coin, Britannia coin, from the R Royal Mint. So here we have the uh, box of the coin, uh, Britannia Spirit of a Nation, uh, and uh, this particular uh, box came in another box in another box <laughs> so this is actually the third box that uh, this came in and uh, now let's uh, take a look at the uh, contents of this particular coin i realize it's very difficult to uh, do an unboxing with one hand so i'm uh, fumbling with this uh, coin right now and having to put the phone down and here we go so inside those three boxes is another black box of the royal mint and inside here is the wooden box for the quarter ounce britannia so here we have uh, a small pamphlet with information uh, about the coin and the britannia series and uh, the particular image used in the coin uh, and uh, a little bit of history about uh, Britannia series. Let's put that aside. Here now is the box. It's a beautiful uh, box for this beautiful coin. And here we go. Opening the box now. And it's a bit tough doing this because I'm doing it with one hand. So here is the quarter ounce 2020 uh, Britannia uh, proof coin it's a beautiful coin and here we go the number of this coin is 636 out of a total population of uh, no I think it, it's it's not a 700 it's 700 as a quarter ounce presentation but I think there are still a few coins um, of this quarter ounce Britannia in another in other sets so I think the population is slightly higher um, but in this presentation it's 700 coins all in all so we're doing a close-up of this coin um, and actually when I look at this close-up um, the coin uh, looks uh, more appealing um, when I'm actually viewing it via the video compared to when I'm actually looking at the coin. That's because at a one fourth ounce size, um, I can't really see much of the design. So when I'm looking at this up front and up close like this as a video, it actually looks much better, um, much, and I can actually see uh, more intricate details and uh, it's a beautiful coin as, as long as we can actually uh, zoom in and uh, see it up up close um on actual coin itself um as a one fourth coin i can't really see much um even with the loop <laughs> even with the loop um so my eyes are uh really need some work um with this coin um and and so i'm also quite used to the uh, one ounce or 30 gram uh, versions of the uh, gold panda so um, I wish I really had um, a lot more funds that I could uh, commit to this coin um, in which case maybe I would have gone for the uh, one ounce um, but really at the premium of about 30 to 40 percent uh, above spot uh, I'm, I'm I really wasn't um, ready to commit that kind of amount and that kind of premium um, for this coin even if it was a proof coin at well, one ounce proof coin so i'd rather uh, just buy the one fourth ounce i can't see as much um, but i get to enjoy the this beautiful coin and uh, uh, appreciate the the kind of craftsmanship that goes into uh, the royal mint products so it's a beautiful coin um, and I really like the stunning um, lion head shield. I think this is one of the uh, 
things that drew me to this coin um, when I originally saw it. And I had watched uh, the Royal Mint commercial. And earlier, I'd also watched uh, Losing Louis' um, announcement of the coming of this coin. And what really drew me then was uh, this lion head shield. And I felt that um, this is one of the uh, more beautiful coins that's uh, come out in the Britannia series in quite a while. And uh, that's actually what I had said to Louis in one of my comments to his earlier um, Britannia post. Um, but take a f look at a few years back and you really see that um, I, I may be really right about um, this being one of the prettier Britannias. Um, so I, when I saw how pretty this coin was up close in the images used in the Royal Mint, um, I didn't hesitate to uh, buy it. And so I got that. So here we have um, the Britannia coin already uh, wrapped up in a flip and ready to go. Um, normally, I would actually wait and um, group a couple of coins together um, and uh, send them through the uh, NGC Hong Kong office. But with the coronavirus and um, these protests going on, um, I... I really don't have uh, Hong Kong as an option at this point. So I'm going to try to uh, submit these coins uh, using um, an official uh, submission center here in uh, Singapore, which is the Singapore Mint. So this is a second coin, an Australian Nugget 1990 coin that I picked up also about, uh, also about a week uh, earlier. And this is a one ten thousand coin. And this is actually the first year of issue um, for this uh, Australian uh, gold nugget uh, coin. So this is actually the first um, coin where they make use of the kangaroo image. Uh, this is a bullion coin. An early, uh, a year earlier, they had actually released um, a kangaroo uh, coin as well but uh, it was in the proof versions. So this is actually the first uh, Australian Nugget bullion coin that was produced um, by Australia in uh, 1990. So I just managed to um, get this coin while uh, looking around in the shop. At that particular point, I did not know that this was the first year of issue, but I felt that um, because of that date, um, it was an interesting coin to have. So I uh, got this particular coin and I will be sending this also to a Singapore Mint for grading. All right, so uh, that's it for this video. As always, I'd like to wish everyone continued prosperity and success and I look forward to seeing you in the next few videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you. Bye.